Zoo Lily ain't cool, Lily. Zoo Lily recently sold for a huge discount from its prior valuation. It was only founded in 2010, so just five years ago. They grew their revenue up to a billion dollars a year. Whoa, that's fast. <laughs> five years to a billion dollars in revenue? That is a wonderful success story. So what did, what did the stock market do? They raised the valuation to $9 billion. That's a huge valuation going on. But now it's 2015, and they just sold it for $2.4 billion to Liberty Interactive, the parent company of QVC, a uh, TV shopping channel. Well, there's a big difference between nine and two. That's seven, that's six and a half billion dollars just wiped off the valuation. Well, what happened? Well, first of all, as a discount, <coughs> as a discount, low price supplier with uh, the idea of flash sales, we started to see plenty of other competitors be in the market, Ooh, la la ideal, guilt. Most recently, Amazon has been in the game of the flash sales. So their unique value proposition disseminated in just five years. That slowed their growth dramatically. People would come and buy one item, participate in one flash sale, and never show up again. Plus, the economy recovered. Flash sales are dependent upon finding branded products at a very low price. Now, if you can't find your branded products and buy them at a low price, you no longer have a purpose to exist. What happened was these branded products no longer needed to shed inventory. So they stopped shedding inventory, and their ability to get inventory or supply decreased. Now suddenly got nothing to sell. You got nothing to sell. You don't have a compelling value proposition. Your flash sales are having a hard time finding things to sell. Customers can find flash sales other places where they're doing other things. In other words, they just didn't have a sustainable position. It was a nice run. Maybe the run's over. What's going on here? We got a remora strategy. They're just a sucker fish hanging on the side of a bigger fish. I know, that's a remora on a man's back. Remora usually sit around on sharks, whale sharks, all sorts of fish. Well, the remora strategy only works as long as the ecosystem support it and the host is supportive. Well, the ecosystem was no longer supportive. Nor did brands like it when somebody just lowered the price of their brand and lowered the concept of its value proposition. So the ecosystem said, nah, you know, we needed you, we don't need you, you're out. No product, no sales, you're gone. The other problem is that when you always go for the low price value proposition, guess what? Somebody out there will be lower priced. You look at Walmart, I know they're a super big firm, Yet, are they actually able to compete effectively against all the Trader Joe's? Huh, somebody will always outcompete you when you go for the lowest price place. Somebody will always be willing to be cheaper. Dollar stores exist and grew for a reason. It's a hard place to be at the bottom of the food chain.